MGM goes fully woke. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm happy you're not white. What? Oh, I didn't crank the volume up. I don't think I heard that right. Uh, what? Uh, let's play that again. I'm happy you're not white. Me too. I'm happy you're not white. Me too. Wow. Now that's just a five second clip of the new trailer for the movie by MGM Studios. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up, Grandma. I'm happy you're not white. Yeah, let's back up with this grandma here. I'm happy you're not white. Me too. Me too? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean you're happy she's not white? Was there was there an option? Was there a choice? I mean, did you sleep around with a white guy? I mean, I mean that's what I'm assuming here. It looks like it looks like she's her grandma. Is that what's going on? <laughs> Am I wrong here? That's crazy. I'm happy you're not white. I do. Do do black families even have that conversation? Uh, does a grand a black grandmother to her black daughter say, "I'm happy you're not white." But um, mom, uh, grandma, do 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 you have a do 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 you have something you want to say? Did did you go whoring around with the white guys? Like what happened? Anyway, let's play the rest. I'm happy you're not white. Me too. Wow. Now that's just a five second clip of the new trailer for the movie by MGM Studios. Oh, I'm not surprised. What, what, is this the, uh, hold on. Is this the, I'm going to say the name, the title of the movie, but it's going to sound racist. Is it the, is it the Negro? I mean, ne Negro. Oh my God. Dang it. Is it the, the Negro movie? This sounds, it's a, okay, it's the Negro movie. I mean, that's what it is. The Super Negro Wizards. They weren't thinking when they made this movie. They weren't thinking when they made this movie. It sounds wrong, man. Now, MGM, also known as Metro Goldwyn Mayer, has come up with a new movie. And even in this same trailer, it gets worse than that. What is this movie by MGM? What is it called? This, the title of this movie. Was it right? Was it right? The title of this movie is so deplorable. It's not even funny. But well, well, it is a little funny when people who are like, oh, that's racist, put out titles that are kind of sound a bit racist themselves. The irony is funny. The irony is funny. But even in this trailer, they claim that white people are the most dangerous animal. The title, The American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> I mean, that's all you, that's all you need to know, man. That's like, wait, wait, what's the movie called? Uh, American Society of Magical N N Negroes. I don't think we could put that out. No, no, we're going to put that out, and it's going to be super DEI. No, DEI, it's only black people. That's so much What diversity is there? It's solid black. <laughs> there is no DEI in that. There's no inclusion, is there? I think there, there might be a white villain. There you go. There's your inclusion. <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrible. Horrible, horrible. And, and imagine if this was flipped on the other way. Like you had a American... Cons American Society of Magical White People. And they're all like, I'm glad you're not black. Yeah, those black people are a bunch of animals, a bunch of savages. It'd be like racist. They'd be like, oh, that's the worst thing ever. It'd be like, cancel their jobs, call their families, harass them, cancel them any way you can. But, uh, I mean, this, this, this looks like, it sounds like a black exploitation movie that you would see from that time. Uh, I, I don't, this is crazy. This, this is a real thing. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, I should say a shout out to just Jen reacts, by the way. So you would think with a title of a movie produced by MGM, 
Well, they're pushing critical race theory. They're pushing. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are. D-E-I. Oh, well, there's hardly any inclusion. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on here. Hold on here. I, I got I to gotta fact check my, my inclusion thing here. Let's go to IMDb real fast for this movie, live in the moment. Uh, every video I do is one take. Um, all right, we're going to just go here. I mean, do you, how many how many white actors are there? How many non-black actors are there in the American uh, Society of Magical Negros? Ne Negros. <laughs> I try so hard not to sound racist saying it that I think I sound even more racist saying it. Okay. Let's see. Can we... Can we can we take a shot for every non-black character? Oh shit, this will be a shitload of shots. Never mind. Whoa. Anthony Coons, Robbie Troy, Zachary Barton. Oh, uh, oh my a collector. Collecting what? Uh Gillian. I guess I guess Mia. Oh, there's a handful of white people here. Greg Cohan. Oh the Guys, we're not we're not taking shots. We're not taking. <laughs> because you gotta pay your reparations. You owe us shots. You owe us one, two. Oh, uh, no, no, Zavo McLean. She is she black? Is she white? Oh, she's black. She black. And let's see. I'm definitely. Ta I would definitely be taking like. Uh, five, six, seven shots of whiskey, eight shots. That's not going to happen, guys. But it looks like you do have DEI there. You do have some inclusion there. Okay. All right. All right. Point taken. Point taken. All right. Let's play the rest. So known as diversity, equity, and inclusivity, right? Their yeah. social credit score means more to them than uniting America. So you... Oh. These companies don't care about uniting America at all. <laughs> no, no, that's not their job. Their job is to make as either as much money or to benefit the company, and uh, in that sort of way, they don't care about uniting America. You would think, well, they must have a very diverse group working for them, right? The uh, I want to say probably not on that, right? It's probably a bunch of white dudes. Executives of MGM. Well, if you think that, you're wrong. Because here is the CEO for MGM. His name is James, and he is definitely white. Hey, that could be a black guy hiding behind a white a white photo, okay? It could be like digital white facing. Is that what they call it? And then you have Paul. Lawrence here doesn't even get a picture. No, no, Lo Lawrence doesn't get a picture. <laughs> that might be the black person. You don't get a picture. That might be. Thorns could be a black name. It could be a black black name there, okay? All right. David, Ted Smith. It doesn't get any whiter than Ted Smith. Sorry. No. <laughs> he literally has like, like, ugh, Ted. Ted is his name. Ted. It's so basic. And in a basic last name. Yeah. Not sorry. Oh, the list continues. Here's Trisha. And Steve T. Nat Steve T. Also doesn't have an image. Could be a black dude. Could be like, like Steve T. Like Mr. T. Sort of thing. Okay, it could be like that. Natalie, Sarah, Damien, the two Michaels here. Mar ah, okay. Ravi. If I said that wrong, my apologies. I wouldn't even give any apologies. Doug, Daniel. Pam, Chris, Amanda. Pam works there? Pam Reynolds works there? Oh, man. Damn. Well, I know how she got that position. Uh, Todd, da oh, Daniel Flores. Why? Look at that diversity. It's very short. <laughs> but he looks so white. I don't even know if it even counts. <laughs> That's like saying Nick Fuentes is uh, the di di diversity. <laughs> okay. All right, there. Um, <clears throat> Short lived, believe me. Christopher, there's another non white person, but so far only two. Grace Lynn Blake. 
But I think he looks for the Asian, which depending on who you ask and when you ask, that might change. Yeah, that's Asian. That's oh, that's Vietnamese. Win, win. Oh, shit, dude. That Vietnamese person probably, probably might be secretly very based. Might be, might be. He might say what he needs to say to make as much money as possible at that company, and to kiss ass. But he probably has weapons that maybe were uh, lost in a tragic boating accident. And good for him. He got his stuff taken care of, I'm pretty sure. Non-white person, but so far only two. Grace Lynn Blake, Jeff, Sam, Ted, Justin, Joaquin, Jeremy, Joaquin Catherine, Phoenix? Susan, Paul, Crystal. Oh, look, they're all white. They're all white. Look at that. And best believe me, the list goes on and on. <laughs> all these white executives are like, yeah, let's come up with a movie of magical black people. <laughs> Magical Negros. <sighs> YouTube is gonna say I'm saying something that I'm not saying. On and on and on, but the diversity or lack thereof within MGM speaks for itself. Now, uh, of we course it does. Of course it does, because you gotta have. You got. They're not gonna. They're not gonna like put them on board right now what they're gonna man no no they like their jobs they're gonna keep that and i wouldn't be surprised if every single one of those motherfuckers has some sort of blackmail material on one or the other oh uh, you get rid of me i have some dirt on you <laughs> we all have the tapes uh pam pam reynolds we all have the tape and it's gonna come out we could sit by idle and continue to let these globalist elitists run us away from one another, or we could stand up and boycott this all together, throwing a monkey wrench. Well, I don't, I don't know who's watching this movie. I mean, the American Society of Magical uh, Negros. Who the fuck is watching that? Who the fuck is watching that? Um. Ah. Uh, that was so dumb. So freaking dumb. Um, I think that movie, I think a movie uh, with that horrible of a name just kind of like boycotts itself. Okay. Within their plan to divide Americans from within our own borders based solely off of something not any one of us had a choice of the matter in. Well... I don't know if this movie was made to divide us even more. I think it was made just to make uh, cheap ass easy money that they thought they could make off this grift, like black exploitation films. Okay, that is where I differ. I don't know if this movie by itself is like some sort of like mastermind to split us apart. I think it's just uh, a dumb company with dumb executives doing something really stupid um, out of uh, out of malice. No, I think out of just sure stupidity, thinking they can capitalize on this grift um, by playing to, well, a very black cast, a, a black audience, thinking this will work. Um, I don't think it has. I'd be surprised if it did. Uh, this, is, this is one of those movies that's going to be forgotten. And it's going to become like, it, I can't say this on YouTube. But you can see the title. It's going to be like this. All right. This is insane. This even exists. But it's going to be kind of like this. But not as extreme. Uh, MGM made a black exploitation film. That's what they made. And yeah, I'm sure it did boost their social credit score. I'm sure that's what they were looking for as well. Um... But as far as trying to purposely divide us, I think with that is I don't think they even really care. Now maybe I'm wrong. Maybe MGM is working with um what uh, economic world economic form and purposely putting us out there to like spread a message to uh, program black people to hate white people uh, systematically and to want to uh, treat them like they're like 
the worst uh, savage animal out there, a danger that should be uh, shot on the spot or whatever and destroyed as soon as notice or to be you know, just something crazy, right? Some fear mongering bull crap. Maybe that's maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. I mean, it, it seems like you could make that argument, uh, especially when you have the media uh, definitely putting that argument up, pushing out that message that that what that black people are systematically being dis, uh, being killed, being gunned down by by what white people by officers by cops when it's really like majority of most most. <laughs> Uh, as far as like gun violence goes, or being victims of guns, like, you know, gunshots, uh, it's usually black on black. It's gonna be black on black. That's exactly what it's gonna be. Um, the majority that die from cops is fairly small compared to that. And in fact, no one even really talks about that. You're not supposed to talk about that. You talk about that, they say you're racist, but it's like that's just a fact. That's just a fact. I mean, you wouldn't say white man bad, white man is evil, white man does this, white man does that. But like, you don't even protect your own. You, you don't even care about that. You don't even talk about it. And if you do, you somehow make it to where it's the white man's fault. That's bull crap. That's absolutely bull crap. And, um, and, 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 and they, they're pushing that narrative, you know? Um, so, I mean, you, you could try to make the argument, but I see it as just a, a dumb movie that's made to make a, a quick buck from grifting off of uh, what they think uh, is an, a very gullible audience. And, uh, but you let me know in the comment section where you where you stand. But like I said, shout out to uh, uh, Just Just Jin. Uh, Just Jin reacts. I know she started uh, with uh, you know doing reactions like uh, a lot of us did. And uh, yeah, shout out to her. I uh, saw this was like, oh, I'm curious about this. Let's check this out. MGM goes full woke. All right. Well, you take it easy and have a good one.